Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's me again, my co-host world, and you are with Travel and Study Abroad in Chi. Did you know that there's this university in the States that guarantees 100% funding, no tuition fee for undergraduate programs? Yes, it's real and it's working. So in today's video, I'll take you through uh, the school and then I'll show you what to do and we'll read a little bit about it so you can get ahead and get to it. I've gotten so many DMs and the message is about why are we not doing undergraduate programs? Yes, in this video today, it's all about an undergrad program in uh, the USA, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming in and thanks for your support. And uh, if you are new, yes, welcome to the channel. On this is channel, it's all about travel, getting the opportunities and chances to travel abroad for studies, work, internships, and whatnot. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go out to click on the subscription button, okay? So that you get to know what's going on and what we're releasing next. So guys, that's all about it. A university in America with no tuition um, provided, all right? So yeah, let's go. Right, so this is the website. It's this university or the college is Burial College, okay? I, I know most of you have heard about this university, this college, and it is assuring no tuition, okay? So you get to this university or this college and you don't have to pay anything, literally no tuition. So you just apply for free, okay? So Burial College isn't like most other colleges. It was founded in 1855 by a Presbyterian minister who was an abolitionist, okay? It was the first integrated co-educational college in the South, and it has not charged students tuition since 1892. This is quite amazing, guys. <laughs> Every student I mean, on campus works, um, and its labor program is like work-study on steroids, right? So this is amazing. Um, they have presidential church, no tuition provided, and that's all about it. So let's get on to the program, okay? So when you come up here, you see admissions, right? Academics, so you can click on admissions, and you can read a lot more about it if, if you, you want, okay? So it says apply for free. Apply for free or visit campus, okay? And where is this university at? There we go. Uh, this is the address here. Uh, the real ky 40404 so that's actually um in the state okay so yeah you can click up apply for free but let's go on with the academics and check the academic programs all right what do they do what do they offer okay it's going to be a short video um it's all about the uh, college so academic departments they have african um african african american studies agriculture and natural resources a whole of biology here education uh, studies english you know um history mathematics uh, psychology theater and all of that so um if you fancy any of these you can just go ahead and click on it uh, let's go to um biology and see what they have here uh, biology they have nursing here as well so biology department what it is about okay so you can go out here they have faculty and staff major and minor special and opportunities and all of that now um at Brewer college we offer a really uh, rigorous sorry foundation in biology coupled with a strong liberal arts curriculum so as biology major you expect uh, a commitment to academic excellence and then all of that you can go ahead and then read them uh, you have opportunities for biological research both in class and on and off campus campus yes a solid background in a wide range of biological subdisciplines that will prepare you to graduate school and, and all of the resources and all. So it's more about uh, what the school actually entails and all that, yep. So that's all about biology. Uh, right here on the right, you can go ahead and read so many things they have here. The courses, um, the course sequencing table and then the phone number and all of that. So that's about biology. I'm just gonna go back and uh, then we can just go on to another one. Um, let's check nursing as well. Okay. Nursing. Yes. So the college, um, the Real College Nursing Department, Rank One in 
Kentucky by registered nursing.org, run 550 uh, residential BSN programs. It's ranked A number eight in South East in 2020 by nursing process. So these are amazing photos from the college, okay? Uh, you can watch this video about what's all about and do how to read, okay? The visions and all of that. So basically it's all about you know what what it entails and all that so let's go back to um admissions and then you can hit on apply for free okay apply for free and then let's see what it's all about so applying for admission yes already started your application log in to your portal if you haven't you can um you need to register okay so it's either you apply as a first year student if you will be a first time domestic non international college, you use this portal. But if you are a transfer, apply as a transfer student if you are domestic non international. Um, here, you use this one, but here, apply as an international student if you are an international non domestic student. So, you click on this one, okay? And if if apply for readmission, if you were previously enrolled at the real college and was a full time degree student, hit on this one. So for the sake of this video, we're just going here as international students. You click on this one, and I'll bring you out here. Apply as an international student. Okay. Then these are the deadlines: early action, October 15th, regular 15th, uh, January 15th. Uh, decision notification: mid December, mid March. Deposit due: April 1 and May 1. Now the deposit here um, is about once you're offered admission, you need to pay. An amount of 2200 us dollars as a deposit of which you're going to get it back though yes they'll give it back to you um when you arrive in the states and that's the only thing you would have to pay okay a deposit of 2200 okay and 50 dollars for um uh, for some some it would cover some costs um i wish i could show you that here but just hold on a minute i'll find that here so these are the processes to go through when you want to apply the following items are required to complete an application for admission all materials should be submitted by online to apply for free online okay um, you need your personal essay okay copies of official secondary school records two recommendation um, two teacher recommendation forms financial resource confirmation form so this form should be completed by a school administrator employer religious leader or another individual who can make a statement about your personal and financial resources as well as barriers as they relate to your pursuit of higher education this form may not be completed by a course relative the financial resource information form should be in english and one thing i realized that if you need to, you don't you know you don't have the money to pay for this deposit there are ways they can help you right to get on with that the official test scores all international applicants must submit a report from one of the following exams, the Olingo, which I was on about the last time, is the easiest to get. I think it's forty-five dollars or fifty dollars, and then you get it within forty-eight hours. And very easy to come by. Okay, it's better you go for that. But I think you will need a higher score in Duolingo, Outsat, and all of that, and on our worldwide Wednesdays, and all. these are the information. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and and then ask. Let's us what I was saying. When must I pay? The 2200 deposit okay so payments must be made by may 1st if the student expects to go enroll students who have been offered admission to the uh, will receive a letter from the office of admissions with specific details on the payment deadline and instructions for submitting payments uh, the college does have some sources of financial aid to help cover this amount depending upon the student's family financial circumstances, right? So the I-20 is not issued until the required payment has been received. So like I said, it's good news. If you're unable to pay it, just reach out to them. They'll be able to help you out and all of that. So they have different questions. You can, you know, check them out. Um, what are the admission requirements? Oh, and even the Duolingo mark they're requiring or requesting is even 95, which is easy to come by, really. It's easy to come by. So do well to get on the website, duolingo.com um english test or the duolingo.com i believe and then just apply you know pay the money and do the english test and that's all you need your camera and your microphone because you'll be recording and you know videos and audio as well so you need to 
put all these things in check and then get into it. It's easy to come by, okay? Um, deadline, application must fully must be fully submitted no later than January 15th if the academic year begins the following August. So do want to go check them out. If you have any, you know, um, questions here, you can just check them out here. Do you have a host family program? Yes. Many families in the BL area participate in this program, providing international students a family away from home and an opportunity to get to the American lifestyle better. It's, it, it, it is, however, not a homestay program and not a source of financial aid. All international students are encouraged but not required to participate. So if you want to move with your family, I believe it's possible to do that. Uh, can you explain the work program? Because the Brewer College work program is considered part of uh, our educational and financial aid program, these national students are able to participate even without work permits. Each student is required to work at least 10 hours per week. Uh, most international students work 15 to 20, which is normal, and earn over $2,000 during the school year. Students may also remain in the year during holidays, periods, and the summer months. Um, during these times, students may work up to 40 hours per week. So it's all about that. And um, here is it. Do you have accommodation for families? No. We are college is not prepared to provide accommodation for financial support for families. Students also. Uh, should be advised that their earnings in the BR work, college work programs are not sufficient to, for them to provide for for their own expenses while enrolled and support for the family at home. So if you want to do this, it's going to be at your own cost. You have graduate programs? No, sadly, your college offers only undergraduate work leading, you know, programs and all that. So yeah, do well to check this out and all. So they have different, um, you know. Uh, questions are answered um, if you have any questions please watch the videos um, do well to follow and then just read all these out here and it would help you a lot more so um, that's it for me this is my time I will end here if you have any questions do all to put them down in the comment section and I'll get a I'll put the link down in the description so do all to check them out have a wonderful one have a blast I'll see you in the next one cheers